welcome to my happy place. That's crafter with Michelle. Hi crafters and welcome to my happy place. And that's crafting with Michelle. Today I will be coming to you from the beautiful Trinidad Island Republic of Trinidad and Tobago. I'll be taking this wig head and I'll be making this into, this is my daughter's old wig head. And I'll be turning this into a piece of art along with this floppy hat. I'll be using local material. I'll be using Harry Creek. This is a type of cement that we have in TNT here. And I'm going to be mixing this with fine sand. I'll be mixing, throwing the water and mix it as a, a paste like. And then I'm going to apply it to the wig head. Okay, so let's get started. Crafters, this is my sculpted piece. After I have finished paste on the Harry Creek on it, I'm going to leave it to dry now for about, let me see, a couple hours well, and then I'll spray paint it in Krylon Hammond Copper. Crafters, this is my sculpted piece. This came about from my daughter's um, old wig head harry crete which is manufactured in trinidad and tobago and my daughter's old floppy hat and some fine sand and this is my inspiration please leave a comment in the comment section below let me hear your take on it i'd love to hear from you this is my second project for this project i'll be using this light bulb Terrarium light bulb from the Dollar Tree and when I came to Trinidad I saw my son with this bottle he said it has some form of juice in it and I said I'm gonna take it and make it I'm gonna be sticking it on here and I'm gonna call this my vase terrarium I'll be using these two light bulbs I'll be using this let me see what's ah okay this bright gold paint i think it's 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 a local it's best value i think yes it is and i'll be using this gloss white i think the name of is common and i'll be using this to mark these two these two spray paints to marbleize the the terrarium and the vase the terrarium vase that i'm going to make I'll be using E6000 to attach and, and my glue gun and my glue gun. I'll be using garlic glue sticks and let me just cut this off. Cut this off. This came from the Dollar Tree, if I didn't mention it. And I'll be applying my E6000. What is left of my E6000? I'll 
I'll be putting E6000 in the middle. And I'll be using my glue gun for instant stick. I'm going to be six dollars onto the top here. Okay. I think I put it on the front. I think I put it the front. Oh my gosh, I make a mess of it. I think I'll have to do this over. <laughs> As you can see, crafters, I have joined them together. And what I'll be doing now, I will be marbleizing it after this has been dried properly. A little bit of E6000 there, it will take a little bit for it to really get together. So I am going to put it aside for a little bit and get back to it. Okay. After this, for me to add the final, the finished touch on my terrarium vase, I will be using water. This bright Eldorado gold paint and this white gloss paint. I'll be using this as well. White gloss paint. What I'll be doing, I'll be spraying. I'll be marbleizing. So I'm going to be spraying. That's my white I just sprayed in there. And this is, will be my gold that I'll be now spraying. Let me put a little bit of white again. Okay. And I'll be dipping. I'll be dipping my vase, terrarium vase, in it. As you can see, I'm going to dip this side. I'm going to Dip this other side here. There's not much hair. But I'll be done. Just put in some gold again. A little white. And I'll go ahead and dip again. I'm not seeing much gold, so I'm gonna put gold again in the middle here. Like the white is pushing away the gold, so do this again okay let me put this side here again and let me get a little bit to this side okay and some more on this side okay get a little bit more on this side here a bit of white is okay all right and crafters this is what my terrarium phase looks like after i have finished do a little marbleizing yes crafters here you have it i'll be putting this to dry Crafters, this is my terrarium slash vase. After having some difficulties, here it is in its final stage. What I did at the end, I used a cocktail glass so it will have a, a, a proper standing and the greenery and succulents that just sent it off. Just loving the outcome of it. Crafters, I'll be making a de two decorative wall plaques. And I'll be using Haricrete, which is a local cement of TNT. It is being manufactured here. And I will be placing the Haricrete onto my, onto my canvas, my wrong canvas. I bought, I bought this with you to help me take it out. 
and I'll be leveling, I'll be spreading it onto the canvas. until it covers the canvas I'm almost there and I'll put it aside until it settles a little bit and then I'll come back and finish it off. When you go on to the other one, I'll be doing the same. still spread it on I'm just going to take it off with my hand because I I got these canvases um, from five below yeah Okay. Crafters, the actual designing of the wall art was accidentally deleted. I do apologize for that. Crafters, these are my two wall plaques. After I have spray painted it in metallic gold, it came out amazing. It has a, um, a sort of antique look yeah leave a comment in the comment section below tell me what you think share your thoughts with me crafters hope you enjoyed these projects because i enjoyed presenting them to you don't forget to comment like and subscribe all items used will be left in the description box below remember jesus loves you and so do i thanks for crafting with me see you next time Bye.